Hi everybody, Tammy here, and I just wanted to come on and share what I've been up to in my craft room. So I didn't get anything done that I set out to do in here today. <laughs> I got sidetracked. So we'll get to these um, in a little bit, but first, well, I did get something done that I needed to get done. Um, this is for a young man who his graduation party from high school is this weekend and he is off to Stanford University in the fall. So I wanted to do a Stanford themed card for him. And uh, I came up with using the band mascot, which is the tree uh, with the little googly eyes. So, and then I did the cartel red. Um, I wanted to do the Stanford S with the tree, you know, in the middle of the S, the logo but I could not find, I thought I had a die, a letter die that was that style, but I cannot find it anywhere. So I tried to make my own, it was a disaster. <laughs> so I just decided to go with a clean and simple, you know, the rectangles cut out in different, a um, couple shades of white here on a white card, and just real simple. And I just think he's an adorable little tree and um, open them up and I just did the congrats, which is a die cut that I have and did it kind of in a black sparkly. And then I just added my sentiment for the young man that's graduating and um, put my stamp on the back, use the cardinal red color. So tried to tie it all together. So that's my card that was pretty, pretty quick to do um, other than trying to make my own S. <laughs> So the other thing, and this is what got me off track today um, with what I really needed to be doing in the craft room. I, we are decluttering in our house and um, my husband brought me these pictures that were down in a storage room in the basement and they were of different types of coffee drinks. So picture on this little um, bear square here, wooden square, like a coffee cup um, with a coffee drink. Like I think one said mocha, uh, one said latte. There are four of them. And I don't know where they came from, when I bought them, but they ended up in the, I don't think these ever hung up anywhere in my house. They ended up down in the storage room. And um, like I said, he's decluttering, which I love. I love that he's doing that. And so he brings everything up that he thinks I might not want to, you know, donate um, to check with me. And at first I said, oh yeah, donate those. Uh, but then this, the Harlequin stood out to me and I'm like, well, I could cover, you know, the, the coffee motifs on each one with Alice themed. Um, I have a ton of Alice scrapbooking supplies. And so I'm like, oh, those would be so cool to hang in my craft room because I'm looking for some wall decor for uh, in here. So he, you know, piled them all up <laughs> in my craft room right next to me. So I've been staring at them for about a week. And finally today, I, I started playing with the different collections and this is what I'm going to do. So I, uh, this, oh, what is this? I might have combined two Alice collections. Uh, let me think here. Or these might all be the same one. I saved the strip. Okay, I think the background papers and the images that I used are all from the, it's pronounced Asuka Studio. And I believe the paper collection was just called Wonderland. And I bought this probably, a couple, okay, 2022. Oh, by Memory Place. So if you want to find this, it's a beautiful um, Alice collection. And um, it's kind of a little bit dark, like kind of steampunkish um, and elegant combined. I, I really like it. And I like to do cards for my Alice friends. <laughs> Alice fan friends. I like to do like birthday cards and stuff and use this collection, but I have a lot of it. So I decided that I'm going to make little kind of layouts um, and I'm still playing with what I want to do because I'm leaving um, the border here for some sort of chipboard 
or something. And first I had them kind of all just like in the middle. Um, I might add some hearts here. I'm not sure. I'm still playing around with how they'll actually um, end up looking. But this die right here, oh my gosh, I love it. I think I got these dies in a D stash, and I don't remember who the D stash was from, but I remember it was um, a bunch of Queen and Company stuff and a bunch of Anna Griffin stuff, and she was. I remember she was getting out of paper crafting and she was going to focus on gardening. So she was really letting her paper crafting items go for really cheap. And um, I'm so glad that I saw her D stashes when I did. I ended up with a lot of Anna Griffin supplies and Queen and Company, which I love both of those companies. So I used this frame right here this one and I think it adds you know some dimension uh, layering and by the time I figure out what I'm going to do over here um, you know I think I hope that I'm happy I'm sure I'll be happy with the results when they're um, up hanging on the wall in here because I love Alice and um, what better way to you know enjoy um, our Alice or whatever theme is your favorite scrapbooking papers and journal making supplies then to you know use it for home decor so okay here's the white rabbit and like I said I'm just not sure I know the the clock piece will be on there but I might add maybe a couple more littler I have tons of the chipboard pieces and um, it's fun to use it you know use it up so and then here and be cute the little mad hatter and then i used a chessboard piece there and yeah all, all this paper you know what the purple background paper is blue fern studios eclectic uh, eclectic collection or something it's called um that purple i love that purple paper to use that for a lot of stuff but this background paper is from the asuka wonderland collection so there's that and then here is the queen and all her glory <laughs> she's so cute I love her little patchwork look that she has there and then yeah she's gonna look just like that and um, I used the the queen is that the queen yeah it's the crown um, chess piece for her so yeah these are my latest project in here and it's been a lot of fun um, but yeah I have to get to um, what I came in here initially to do today <laughs> which probably I'm thinking it'll happen on the weekend so anyways I just wanted to share and I've probably rambled on I feel like I've been rambling all, all this video so I'm gonna close it for now but I want to thank you all for watching and until next time oh i know what i'm gonna do the next video i'll do a haul i have a lot of stuff i've been shopping um not a lot of crafting but i've been shopping and some of the items i want to share with you um because i've gotten some pretty cool things lately so that'll be my next video so okay thank you again for watching and until next time i will talk to you later Bye bye